Hi, welcome to Robot Culture. I'm your host, Kevin Isley. Today, I'm gonna to talk about I'm going to Girona, Spain, and it's gonna be epic. So hopefully I'll be posting this video on April 30th, a Tuesday, because on May 1st, I'm getting on an airplane, flying to Barcelona, Spain, and then hopping on a train with my friends, and we're gonna go to Girona, Spain for a week of road cycling, drinking wine, eating ham, and just ultimately enjoying ourselves. So my channel is going to be dark for a little while because I am not going to be editing. I am not going to be posting. I will be posting on my Instagram stories. I'll be posting on Instagram all the shots I'm taking around Girona. So please, I hope you're following me there and I hope you enjoy what I put up there. So I get back on May 9th, which is a Thursday and I shoot my videos on Wednesday. So I'm looking at shooting my next video on May 15th, which is a Wednesday, which would put me at May 21st, Tuesday for my next video that will be coming out. Expect three destinations videos and hopefully a couple of interviews. I decided not to bring my bike for this. It was $400 on United, 200 each way international just to bring my bike. But I rented a bike for $390 for seven days of riding from Eat Sleep Cycle located in Girona, Spain. And there is no Rafa Cycle Club, so I couldn't just get the $25 bike. The bike I'm gonna be renting is a Factor and I'm really excited to ride a Factor bike. I see them around and I've always wondered what they were like. I do like renting bikes to see what I might get next. But if you're like some of my friends who are going on this trip and you have more money than me, you could rent your bikes from the Service Course. The Service Course and Espresso Mafia are owned by former professional bike racer Christian Mare and his wife, but their bikes are Argonauts and a couple of other ones and they are way more expensive. It would have cost me around $500 to rent for that amount of time from the service course, but they have really nice custom built bikes and I just couldn't afford them. But I'm happy with my factor. If you don't know where Girona is, it sits between Barcelona, Spain, and Marseille, France on the Mediterranean. It's full of a lot of climbs, lots of mountains in that area. Not quite the Pyrenees, but they have their own mountain chain and it's gonna be epic. We're gonna ride along the Mediterranean, we're gonna go up into the mountains, we're gonna eat a ton of ham, drink way too much wine. I'm really excited about eating the potato brava there because I love that dish from Spain. And if you're new to my channel, my cycling club and I, we do some epic ride every year. We went to Bergen, Norway for the world championships and rode around there. I went to Berlin last year, we've done the death ride, and this year we're going to Spain. I'm super excited about this. If you happen to be one of those people who subscribe to a channel and if they don't post a video for a couple of weeks, you unsubscribe, I really hope you do not unsubscribe because when I get back, it's gonna be all Spain for a while. If you've ever wanted to go there, Girona is the town that Lance Armstrong and a lot of professional racers used to live in in the early 2000s. Now it is a cycling mecca destination and it is supposed to be just epic. And I can't wait to share these stories with you. And again, if you're not following me on Instagram and you wanna see some epic shots from Spain, follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna do stories, I'm gonna do photos. I'm just, I'm gonna just flood Instagram with Spain. I just can't wait to share everything with you. Well, I think that just about covers it. I'm going dark for about three weeks and I'm doing it because I'm gonna be in Girona, Spain, riding around and I'm super excited about it. If you like this episode, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, sometimes on Twitter, maybe a little bit more in Spain, I'm not really sure. And until the next time, I hope to see you out there on the road.